So today we're going to be doing a video on the best SEO experts to follow for 2025. I'm joined with James. How are you doing? And let's let's kick things off. So who is, by the way, this is in no order, but who's your first person that you so want? So the to first talk? person, because I'm sat at the side of him, I'm going to have to mention Kazra Dash. So Kazra Dash has a lot of data-driven testing underneath his portfolio. So he's able to track a lot of websites and do a lot of website recovery. He does a lot in the dental care space and absolutely crushes it in that area. A little bit on e-commerce and technical SEO. So I'd like to throw your name in the mix to say Kazra Dash is one of the best SEO experts in the world. You go next. The next person has to be James Dooley, and we'll, we'll end the video there. <laughs> no, but you actually do have a lot of, of testing data. Like the, 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 the testing data that a lot of people think is mine, actually a lot of it stems from, from what you test and who you speak to and stuff like that. And then I do a little bit more digging here and there. Um, obviously, you're in multiple verticals as well. Like you, you've got the rank and rent side. You've got the affiliate SEO side. Um, so there, there's a lot of industries as well that you test in as well because what one thing might work in the finance niche might not work in the CBD niche. One thing that works in the CBD niche might not work in the gambling space. So there's all of these moving parts to SEO and I think that that's, that's probably one of the, the, bi the bigger things to actually look at. But who's next on your list? So what I'm going to do now in this section, I'm going to name a few different SEO experts that have been great over the years mm -hmm. but because i'm not within their private cohort groups we can't really touch upon how much of the testing nowadays we can start to we'll, we'll go on to some of the ones who we know are doing really well so if i name a few of them off like rand fishkin yeah. the founder of moz an absolute legend in the seo industry but, and he's got Spark Tour on now and stuff like that. He came out recently with um, the Mike with the, with the Google Leaks. Yeah. So a, a very familiar face in the industry. Neil Patel gets quite a lot of actually a grief in the industry for stealing certain ideas and techniques. But from a digital marketing standpoint, absolutely brilliant at, at marketing himself. Very, very, very successful. He's got to be in there as being an SEO expert for over the years. I'd say more businessman that's leveraged SEO nowadays. Than that's, that's what I was going to say. Like a, a few people that I know that have been in a mastermind with him say that he's buying offline businesses and he's leveraging SEO, kind of yeah. similar to what we do. Yeah. Um, Aleda Solis, um, great female SEO out there. Does a lot of talks at like places like PubCon and other places. So does a lot of good work. Barry Schwartz, um, a good reporter and journalist for a lot of like SEO related platforms online. He's one to follow on Twitter because if there is any like recent updates or recent news and stuff like that, you'll be like one of the first to tweet about it. Yeah. Cyber Shepherd recently was um, a Google quality rater, was um, an SEO strategist at Moz as well for many years. Recently shared a, a, a private mastermind with him. He's a super cool guy. Got a lot of respect for him. You've got Tim Sulo, who's the CMO and product advisor at Ahrefs. Probably the best SEO tool that there is out there. Gets a lot of grief now for the credit system, but he's done an amazing job in growing it to be the market leader. I think it's, it's bigger and better than Sam Rush nowadays. And I think Tim's got a... You've got to give your hat off to Tim for a lot of what he's done. I think their website is unbelievable with the amount of knowledge and stuff that they share on there. I think it's good. You've got Gail Breton, uh, Authority Hackers. She has a lot of good quality content. They've got like a training program out there. And you've got people like um, Juice DeVolk, um, Yoast SEO, um, Jason Barnard, the brand SERP guy. So, got Kelly Cube, has a lot of data points for knowledge panels and stuff like that. All these people are great people to be following, whether it's on like LinkedIn, on Twitter, and stuff like that. And then Spencer Hawes, Niche Pursuits, and um, Link Whisper. Yeah. But 
away from that just normal list that show up every time where people are like, oh, these are the SEO experts to follow. Sometimes I'm looking at some of them and I don't mean to discredit any of them in any way, shape or form. Some of them are the OGs of the industry. But how much testing are they doing in today's algorithm for local SEO and lead generation for affiliate marketing? How many affiliate marketing sites have been hit since the helpful content update and someone come out with ideas and strategies to improve upon it from that list? Do you know what I mean? Like, who, who's in the trenches testing today's algorithms for e-commerce and what works the best? Making certain you've got unique product descriptions, category pages, where's the best place to build links and so on and so on or acquire links via digital PR. So... Let's go through the list for some of them that we know. So I'm going to throw one out there now, the next person who I think is an SEO expert, member of a lot of private SEO mastermind groups, does a lot of testing himself, is an international SEO speaker, um, Craig Campbell. He's a Scottish SEO entrepreneur, does a lot of investments now. He's got a digital PR agency, a link building agency. He's got an SEO agency for a lot of clients up in Scotland. Um, does a lot of testing, uses so many different tools and automation to be able to scale things. I think he's got to be up there as being one of the best SEO experts. Definitely to follow for 2025 because he's innovative and forward thinking. So next on your list, who would you have? I'm going to go with Carl Hudson, um, obviously owner of Searcheru and he's Started to get more of a digital presence. Um, I saw him on a podcast the other day, like a year ago. He was he wasn't on any podcast, so he is he's sharing a lot more. He has also got a lot of testing in in some really difficult industries as well. Like you know yourself, he's, he he has ranked in gambling multiple times. He's ranked multiple websites in gambling for some serious difficult keywords in the UK. Um, he's he's built out a team. And he's also pretty proactive in, in reading algorithm updates, for coming up with new strategies, working strategies. Um, so, yeah, he, he is one to follow, I would say. Yeah, I mean, with regards to Carl Hudson, I'd definitely have him as being one of the top SEO experts. Definitely to follow again in 2025 because he's innovative and forward thinking again. Yeah. So, for anyone that doesn't know Carl, right, it's hard to rank for, let's say, the casino, set, the, the casino space in the UK. So trying to rank for it and gain position number one for casino, online casino and casino online is a very tough job. But then to do it a second time and a third time and a fourth time and then to turn around and do it from all the major slot terms and live casino terms, but then to rinse and repeat and do it profitable 46 different times, 46 different online casinos is incredible. So someone someone at times, I'm not saying you can fluke it once. I mean, it's not really a fluke, but sometimes you might have acquired some really good links and they might be better than what you thought there was. For Carl to rinse and repeat a strategy 46 times obviously tells you he knows exactly what he's doing with regards to content, topical authority, and building backlinks. Next one I'm going to throw out there, who is the SEO expert and an influencer, and got a large personality in the space. People know Matt Diggity. Yeah. I think his YouTube channel is absolutely amazing. Always comes up with great knowledge. He's another one that does a lot of testing. What I like about Matt Diggity is that he has his own sites. So he's not just an agency trying to rank other people's websites. He's got his own affiliate sites. Some of his sites have been hit in the affiliate space. And now he's looking at how do you recover it. But I like that because... Now he's proactively looking on his own sites, how do you recover? So not only is it on growth, growth, growth for e-commerce stores and all the rest of it, affiliate, he's also, like you said, got some of his own sites. So I think Mike, Matt Diggity's got to be thrown in there as an SEO expert to follow in 2025. Yeah, for sure. One thing as well to say about all of these um, experts is some of them are more active on other social platforms. Some are only active on like YouTube and stuff like that. One one place that I would probably follow uh, Matt on is, is, is his YouTube channel because he's obviously grown that and he spends a lot of time like editing the videos and, and writing the scripts and stuff like that. So yeah. 
Um, the next person on our list is Kyle Roof. So yeah. he Kyle has got a lot of testing data when it comes to Page Optimizer Pro. He he's famously known for writing or sorry ranking with lorem ipsum content and then just placing um, LSIs or um, <laughs> entities on the actual page. And he, he basically ranked with just with lorem ipsum. Um, but he also has Page Optimizer Pro and also IMG as well. Um, so Page Optimizer Pro, it basically looks at secondary keywords that you're ranking for, and it does what's called edge analysis. So basically, say for example, you're missing a secondary keyword, it will tell you where to place it on the actual page for the biggest bang, bang for your buck. And then he's also got IMG, which um, again, a lot of testing data that goes into that. He's, speak, he's active, very active on that platform. And basically a lot of people ask him certain questions like, what do you think here? What, do you, what would you do there? And a lot of times it, um, he actually learns from that group as well. So that is another good SEO expert to follow in 2025. Yeah, I also think that Kyle Roof is one of the best, if not the best SEO international speaker. I think he's speaking in his stories of what he talks about on stage. He's brilliant. I also, if anyone doesn't know about Page Optimizer Pro and placing certain terms in certain places on the page scientifically and mathematically to try to out, to outrank your competition, there's two features within there that don't really get spoken about enough. One of them is called Watchdog. And if you're... Um, SERP and intent of a search term starts to change, Watchdog comes back and feeds that information back. And then another one is the EAT analysis. Just tick the boxes for that. But yeah, Kyle Roof, in my opinion, is a brilliant SEO expert. Definitely one to follow. Um, we do a lot of private mastermind co-ops with him, meet him at a lot of events and stuff like that. And yeah, he's an all-round cool guy. The next one on the list for SEO experts to follow in 2025 is Steve Toff. I think SEO Notebook, every single week, Steve comes out with a knowledge bomb. Every single week. I don't know how he does it. He goes and he's got, he's living on social media, on Twitter, or on LinkedIn, and he's extracting the best bits of information. And he's also got some like Python developers. He uses a lot for like um, Google Sheets. Um, stuff like that where it's able to create with Python and AI certain tools where you can quickly scale things out. With regards to automation of SEO, Steve Toff from SEO Notebook is definitely an SEO expert to follow for 2025. Yeah, definitely. I, again, like what you said, that I don't know how Steve does, does it. Um, but what one place that I would follow Steve is um, is obviously on LinkedIn. He's, he's probably the most active on there, um, and definitely subscribe to his mailing list as well. Um, SEO Notebook. Yeah. Uh, the next person on the list is Kevin Indig. Um, he was probably one of the first people um, that I know of, anyway, uh, that was speaking about entities back like five six years ago, and. Basically, the whole premise was if you're writing a sentence in your content or let's say a paragraph, there's going to be what's called a lot of gray text. Google just ignores gray text and it looks at, like, for example, places, things. Um, so, for example, if, if I'm talking about Wayne Rooney is the best striker at Manchester United, um, Wayne Rooney might be an entity. Manchester United might, would also be an entity. Um, but for example, words like is and the and stuff like that, Google just ignores. Yeah. So it's, it's all, it's all to do with the hops. So he was one of the first people talking about that. He also has a lot of experience. Um, I believe he was the head SEO, head SEO at, uh, he's done Shopify, Shopify. G2. He's done a lot. He's actually now more, I've, I've put him in there as being one of the SEO experts, but he's actually more of an organic growth advisor now is kind of what he names himself yeah. so he's more into like a, a fractional cmo right okay. so he does a lot of chief marketing officer mm -hmm. for many different companies and helps them out with the whole holistic organic growth and marketing side of things so just recently done a podcast with him he's a very cool guy yeah. he um he definitely knows his stuff yeah, I, and again, like I, I've seen, um, I, again, I, f I believe he's most active on LinkedIn. It me it's either LinkedIn or, or X, 
But um, again, he's got a lot of tests there. Uh, I, yeah. I quite I quite like reading his posts and stuff. Um, and I believe he's also got a mailing list as well. Yeah, right? he has. Yeah. yeah. So subscribe to those, those two. Yeah, for sure. Next one on the list, Mad Singers. So I've added Mad Singers onto the best SEO experts to follow in 2025, mainly to do with a lot of SEOs, they start scaling out and scaling out and scaling out and then they hit a point and they can never seem to get past it. Normally it's around, if it's a staffing level, anything from like 10 to 25 staff. If it's kind of an earnings level, it, it can be anything from 20,000 to 50,000 a month. And they just can't seem to get past it. And because they've, they've not got the right management systems put in place. So they've not got like a head of SEO that then deals with the, um, with the SEO or head of backlinks, which then deal with any of the VAs, like virtual assistants, that's working in the backlinking kind of um, department. So what Mads is able to do is put these management systems in place and staffing and being built for scalability. Now, I wouldn't turn around to him and, and say, all right, Mad Singers is the first guy I go to for search engine optimization for on page, because then it was somebody, somebody like Kyle Ruth or Corey. Mm -hmm. But for scaling staff and management systems, which also forms part of how do you build a big, large SEO organization, that's why I've put him in as being one of the best SEO experts to follow for 2025. Yeah. Um the next person on the list is Charles Lowe. Um, obviously, he's been doing SEO for like since he was 12 or, or whenever yeah. it was. Um, again, a lot of test data. Um, he does a lot of consultancy as well. So he sees a lot of websites very similar to myself. Um, we, we see a lot of issues with websites um, and then we can report on it. And then for the next time we might, let's say, for example, I see one of your websites and I can say, oh, hey, you, you're not doing these five things. Go and implement these five things. So a lot of tests that are on that. Again, he is pretty active both on Twitter and also LinkedIn as well. So make certain to, to give him a follow um, because, again, he, he is probably one of the, the, the better ones to, to follow in, in 2025. Yeah, I'd say he's one of the, the best SEO experts to follow on Twitter. Yeah. He's very, very, very active on Twitter. Um, and he's more down the Black Art SEO route. So if anyone's interested in um, Black Art SEO, Charles is definitely one of those type of guys. Craig Campbell's probably another one. He, he can also do White Art Craig as well as Black Art, but another one, if you're looking down the Black Art route of how to game the system and manipulate Google algorithms, I'd say Charles kind of falls into that remit. The next one on the list, and I'm going to absolutely butcher his name because I only call him Corey, but Corey Tuckberg Goober. I, I, I think that's pretty well. I did a good job there. Right. So Corey Tuckberg Goober is a semantic SEO genius. He gets a lot of grief online. There's a lot of people that think he talks a lot of shit and he makes up. Now, let me tell you, I've been in his Google search console and I've never seen anything like it. I think like 90% plus of the sites I see is scale like 100x and I'm on about for clients and stuff. He's just on another level when it comes to semantic SEO. Um, there's so many different things that I've learned from him with regards to the main central entity of the website, how to properly build a topical map. A topical map isn't just a list of keywords and topics to write about. You need to make certain that when you're doing semantic content networks, that you're looking at many different parts with regards to the source context, what the main central intent of the site is and stuff like that. Um, the inner section and the outer section of your site to make certain you know when you're doing internal linking, the macro and the micro content of a page. So that you know when you're actually getting your H2s in the correct what's the most important questions and H2s and subtopics to get higher up the page. So if people want to learn more about on-page SEO, go and do his course. Once you've done his course, you might need to redo it a second and a third time because it is a minefield. But the people that do it, I'm in a private co-work group with Corey and quite a few others, and these guys are crushing it. So if you want to get better at on-page, I strongly recommend following Corey, Tuckberg, Goober. Um, go and sign up to his course. He's an absolute legend in the industry. 
Um, so he's definitely an SEO expert I would look to follow in 2025. Yeah, so the next person that we're going to mention is Chris Palmer. Um, again, probably more black hat. I, I, I would probably put him under that umbrella. Um, he is most active on Twitter, but he, or sorry, not Twitter, YouTube. Um, and he does a lot of testing to do with like CTR, Google business profile manipulations, um, like how, how to get them verified, how to... Um, get them ranking position one he's got various different tactics um i i would probably say that he's more tailored towards local i, I don't i yeah. don't think he does anything on, on the affiliate side not that i know of anyway um a lot of the videos that i've seen he's talking about local seo tricks um stuff like that um so yeah check check him out he's he's another really good one to follow yeah for sure he um i've been using him a little bit on seo mentorship for all local because he's got quite a few different services where it's like, I mean, they seem quite old school, like forum links, citations, um, press releases and stuff like that. Mainly for Google business profile SEO or what used to be known as GMB SEO. For stuff like that, yeah, I think he's, he's very, very good. He's very knowledgeable on click-through rate and engagement signals and stuff like that. Next one on the list, short and sweet, um, Brian Dean obviously was initial OG, sold Batlinko to Semrush, um, and now he's got Exploring Topics. I think Exploring Topics is a great tool. I use that for like new trending topics I can write about. I think that's a good one. But then that was just a short one. But Ferry Cazone, um, we've both done a podcast with him. He's a cool guy. Um, he's made, in my opinion, he's made digital PR sexy for SEOs. He's industrialized it and now, and what I mean by that is when I say he made it sexy, he always says that um, Carrie Rose did and Carrie Rose actually got digital PR as being sexy. And when he means industrialized it, he never once meant bad of, let's say, Carrie Rose. What he meant was that he's just able to basically make it cheaper. Yeah. Um, is That's what he means when he says industrialize it. So for SEOs, Everyone in the SEO industry, they're all tight. <laughs> like, including myself, like, I want links as cheap as possible. Where digital PR, generally speaking, is, no, we're going to do this campaign, we're going to strategically look at this survey and the data of this, and we're going to go out and do X, Y, and Z and try to, try to earn some links. SEOs are just like, is it a do follow? No, I don't want it then. And you're like, well, majority of digital PR has no follow links or even unlinked mentions. Yeah. But he managed to find a way to do like expert commentary, was able to get links, sells now digital PR to a lot of the SEO agencies. And that's why I've put him in under, I wouldn't really say he's someone that you'd follow for specifically on page SEO or anything like that. He's very much an SEO expert to follow in the realms of digital PR mm -hmm. for SEO. Yeah. Um, very cool guy, very creative guy. Um, really nice guy within the industry. Yeah, yeah. I think he's, uh, like I, I, I've said to him, he's, he's kind of like a, a genius when it comes to marketing as well. Like you, you see him, he's dressed up as Barbie one week and then the next he's, he's doing something else. So he, he's one to follow on LinkedIn. And I think if we're going to have Ferry, we need to have Carrie Rolls as well. Because... Yeah. Um, some people see them as competitors, but they're actually not, I, I would say. C Carrie Rose is kind of doing PR for um, a different style of PR. Like, for example, um, one of her PR gigs, um, she went to like six different beaches and collected sand. Um, yeah. and, and she was like, th th these are the best sands to, to, to go to. Ferry ain't, ain't going to, to beaches, not, th not that I know of. Um, so I think we, we, we probably need to include her on the list. Um, yeah. Obviously, she is on LinkedIn. Um, yeah. she, that's where she's most active on. And she's obviously the owner of Rise at Seven. Um, and then one other person I want to mention as well is Ryan Stewart um, yeah. at Webris. Yeah. And he's also got the Blueprint training as well. Yeah. Um, he is really active on Twitter and also on LinkedIn. He probably gets a little bit 
of hate on Twitter at him last time I, I, I spoke to him. But for anybody that's looking to grow their SEO agency, um, potentially you're looking to scale your SEO agency, he, he does a lot of, of that training um, in, in his boot camp. Um, he's also pretty well diverse when it comes to ranking in local as well because a lot of his clients are, are law, law firms. They want to rank higher in, in local. Yeah. Um, so... I would say that he's he's one to follow. He, he gives away quite a lot over on his LinkedIn, and also he's he's really active on his YouTube channel as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few others that I'm going to throw in the mix. Kurt Phillip, um, mainly for conversion rate optimization. Um, if anyone is getting a lot of traffic through to their site and they don't feel they're getting enough sales or a lot of traffic through to the site and they're not generating enough inquiries. It could be that your CRO of your site isn't good enough. Are your call to actions standing out? Is the, is the sales copy around the call to actions, like making them, like doing some sort of scarcity marketing to make them want to inquire or purchase today? Kurt Phillip is an absolute legend when it comes down to things like CRO. Yeah, yeah. but w- one thing that I, w- when I very first got into SEO, um, it, and w- one of the first things that I learned was, it's always easier to double your revenue than to double your um, website traffic. So if you if you are already getting website traffic, let's say you're getting 10,000 hits a month and you're earning, let's say, $5,000, um, it's always easier to up your conversion rate as opposed to doubling your, your traffic. So always look to improve your CRO. Yeah, for sure. And then you've missed off Big Julian. Yeah, Julian Goldie. So he's he's Mister Everywhere. Yeah, um, I'm sure. So what's your thoughts on Julian? Would you follow Julian as being an SEO expert to follow in 2025? Yeah, definitely. He's he's daily posting to YouTube, so a lot of uh, value he's given away for free. He's also posting actively on LinkedIn and also Twitter as well. So he is literally everywhere, and he's also got got his Facebook group. So. He, he is one to follow. Um, he, he does a lot of testing as well. I'm actually a bit surprised at how much testing that he does. Like if it's LinkedIn Pulse articles, if it's media articles, um, a- anything that, that e- even stuff that we mention in, in private groups, um, he'll go away and test it. Yeah, for sure. Another name to throw out there, Joe Davis from Fat Joe. Um, he, he does, I would say he does, I don't really know how much testing he does, but he's got a lot of data because he builds a lot of backlinks. Mm-hmm. Um, so from a backlinking standpoint, he's quite busy on Twitter and stuff like that. I would say that he's kind of, when I look at Ryan, it's kind of like the, the ferry in, in the carry. When I look at Ryan Stewart, on the other side, you've, you've got Joe Davies and Joe Davies does help a lot of agencies grow. Um, so yeah. I think, I think if, if we're going to put Ryan Stewart on the list, we obviously need to also put, um, yeah, for sure. Joe Davies. Then I'm going to have a bit of a shout out for Leo Sulas, um, who I've got four or five different brands set up with him, different companies set up. He is an absolute legend when it comes to Python development, AI development, and he's a data scientist. So he's able to, for my, for some of the stuff that we do on like lead segmentation, but it's also to set up tools very easily, like automate stuff in the back end with regards to upsells, cross sells and downsells. I think a lot of people in the SEO community are not good at business. They don't look at lifetime value of a customer, average transactional value of a customer. What Leo's able to do is set certain tools up to try and get the most out of customers with upsells, downsells, and cross-sells. So from an SEO SEO expert to follow, he's starting to be more active now on podcasts and stuff like that. So he's definitely someone to follow out in 2025. Then the last person, unless you've got any others after this, is Alex Drew um, at ODYS. Now he has a lot of test data to do with... um, age domains, like what's working, what's not working. Um, he, he was probably one of the first people that I actually had on my podcast after Google came out and said that you shouldn't be using, or you shouldn't be using age domains. Um, we cleared that up. And again, he, he has a lot of tests there to say that you should be using age domains. Do you know something about Alex Drew? Here's something for um, people. Um, I've never said this out in public, but 
I used to always think I've known Alex for a long time back in the PBN days and um, the, if someone asked me who is the best SEO expert for domain aftermarket like expired domains buying age domains auction domains I'd say Alex Drew from ODYS right he is like cutting edge the most forward thinking most innovative SEO that I know in that industry but he started to do quite a lot of masterminds and I've been really surprised with the feedback because I normally get a lot of feedback from people that's attending who was good, did you learn anything? They're like, Alex Drew is so good at business. Yeah. Like, not just, I used to just see him as being the domain, the dem, like age domain guy, but he's so good at business as well. So if anyone ever does look to have the chance to attend any SEO conferences or masterminds, strongly recommend doing it. Kazra has set up um, his own co-work group, but he's also got, I don't know if any people know about this, but the masterminders, Dot com. Check to see where the next locations are for them. There's quite a few that were probably mentioned in this list of top SEO experts to follow for two, 2025 and also beyond. But a lot of these people attend the masterminders. Yeah. The knowledge that's shared in these private masterminds is unbelievable. Some of the stuff people will share in a mastermind, but they won't say publicly online um, or they won't say on stage at an SEO conference. So... I hope you like the list of SEO experts to follow for 2025. Is there anything else to add with regards to should people be attending or trying to connect with these SEO specialists that we've kind of listed? I, th I think the, the biggest thing is don't, don't just look at this as being, I need to follow one person on this list and that's it. Every, everybody has their own pros and cons. So for example, I, I, like, I would probably never ask Kyle or Ruth on Link building because that that's not his forty. That's that's yeah. that's not where he exp. That's not where. So here's, here's an interesting one, then, right? Let's let's go through a few different elements of SEO, right? Who do you see as being the best people to follow for on-page SEO? I would probably say um, Kyle Roof, Corey, um, and. I'd also say Steve Steetoff because he also dabbles in it, but he also dabbles in off-page SEO as well. But yeah. there's there's like for example, if you follow him for like the next four weeks, there's going to be a couple things that he's going to yeah. put out, and you're like, ah, oh, I never thought that. So I'd say it has to be Kyle Roof and Corey, the top top two in there. Who would you follow for website recovery? Just me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no. So to, to to be fair, I speak pretty actively with Kyle Roof um, on, on certain stuff like that. So if, if there's if there's two out of that list that I would probably follow, it'd probably be myself and, and Kyle. Then with regards to link building, obviously I'd say the first one you have to throw out there for link building is Carl Hudson. Yeah, Car Carl, again, myself. Um, Charles is another good one. Ferry's also another good one. Julian, um, Joe Davies. You, yeah. you've, you've got a, a lot of people in that list. Technical SEO. Is anyone on there you follow for technical SEO? I think Kevin and Diggs pretty good when it comes to technical SEO. Um, who else would? Is is there anyone that stands out to you on that list? For technical, I would say Leo. Leo's very good. Yeah, technical. Um, Spencer Horse for internal linking. You could say um, he's he's good on that front, and. Yeah, I mean, Matt Diggity's The Affiliate Lab course has got quite good mm -hmm. um, silo strategies and stuff like that. Oh, K Kyle's probably a good one as well. If, if we're talking about silo structures, I, yeah. I'd probably say Kyle. Uh, um, then with regards to branding, I think it has to come down to Jason Barnard. Um, he's probably the leader I at that. I'm going to put your name in the hat as well because I think that you do quite a, like, obviously you, you've been speaking highly of power posts and that does come down to personal branding. Um, yeah. So I, I would probably say that yourself and obviously Jason Barnard in that. Business, scaling out SEO and making good money out of it. I'd say Craig's good at, Craig Campbell I think is good at scale, scaling business with S leveraging SEO. Uh, so if, if it comes to scaling business, SEO, I would probably say yourself, Craig, and it has to be Mads. 
So anyway, we hope you like. We try to give you all different people you can follow. It costs you absolutely zero to go and follow all these people on Twitter and on LinkedIn. Um, and on YouTube, subscribe to them on YouTube. They're all pretty active across all the networks. We hope you like our list. Put a comment in the comment section. Have we li- missed anyone off who you think is brilliant at SEO? I'm sure there's hundreds that we've missed. And I'm sure I'm going to get some grief because there's some friends that I probably missed off that I've not put on there. But we've tried to keep it as narrow as it can be for SEO experts to follow for 2025 and beyond. So give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anyone else you think is worth adding to this list.